Greetings fellow humans, this is just a little update to show that the buttons are now working on this clock. You can see there are two buttons, select and increment. In the timing mode the increment doesn't do anything, but if you press select it will reset the time to 0000, and like that. And now you are setting the first column, so that you can set hours, so now it's 17 hours, so when I press select it switches to the second column. That is as of yet no visual indication which column is being set, but here you can set, now it would be 3 pm, now it would be 5 pm. If I select we switch to the third column, which is this one, and start setting the tens of minutes, so let's say it's 50 52 and we can even set seconds uh, one one thing I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature is that if you overflow one column it will grow into the next one so now it's 39 and the next one will be 40 like so but I don't think that's really an issue because if you set the time from the most significant to the least significant then that's really not an issue and if you do a mistake now when you press select last time it will start running the time if you make a mistake you just reset the time again and set the time to whatever oh okay uh, this is a bug that, that I'm not sure I'll even bother fixing uh, I made a little workaround little hack to adding tens of uh, each digit because I didn't want to make special cases for each of these and I didn't want to have separate functions for timing and separate functions for setting then I just said that if I'm setting tens of something so for example tens of minutes I'll just add units of minutes ten times so so it just adds units of minutes ten times and that adds the to the tens but of course with hours I'll just show what I mean, with hours, if you add 10 once, you are at 10 hours, if you add 10 twice, you are at 20 hours, but if you add 10 one more time, you are at 30 hours, which really is just 6 hours past midnight, so I chose 6. But I'm not sure if I'll even bother fixing it, because in more general version I would need to solve uh, the, the same problem for days, months and years, so I don't want to have two separate cases uh, for let's say a leap year, one for when it's actually timing and another for when it's being set, but I am pretty sure it's not that big a deal, but if I feel like it I might fix it, I might make it slightly more general, but, but I'll see how I feel. Well, either way, that's all this update brings. I'll just show that it's still running. Come on, where am I? Here am I. Yep, it's still running. It's still the same binary clock, except now it can be set properly. That's all. Well, be good.